another small mat system is fired up today. This one is a new IBC VX99 boiler and it's powering about uh, a thousand square foot of snow melt on the outside. Uh, we have 26 Delta T, which is okay for a snow melt. And uh, what's unique about this system, there is only one circulator pump. It's uh, a single call, single zone system, so there is no need for a boiler loop. That makes things a whole lot simpler and of course more affordable for the homeowner. What makes it a way, uh, possible to do this uh, is to have very little head loss anywhere in the system. The pipes are inch and a quarter, uh, bushed up from one inch at the boiler and uh, the pump at the heart of this is a Rello S2536 36FC which has an amazing curve and sufficient enough to push the required amount of glycol and uh, what's also crucial is uh, a full flow manifold two inch body rail manifold that also does not restrict the flow of the water so there is no bottlenecks no extra load for the pump to overcome and uh, if you size everything accordingly, offsize a little bit on the uh, tubing, in this case it's not even offsize, it's the proper size inch and a quarter, but the manifold does not restrict flow at all, then you can get away with a simpler, cheaper, more affordable system and you will get the job. You need the right components and the right pump that can push all that. And the beautiful Rella stainless steel expansion tank arm. Little Calafactio glyco feeder. Calafactio, I hope I pronounce it right, uh, isolation flange. We love them. Same for an air vent, air separator. And uh, we have a solid 26 Fahrenheit Delta T, putting out the maximum BTU. So we know that the system is sized properly, it's gonna melt the snow. There's no choice but to melt the snow. The owner kept the old uh, indirect, I mean, uh, instant hot water tank for now. I have a suspicion that uh, we will install an indirect heater down the road and it will go in place of this tankless water heater. So this is the system.